race, Ashley. Less than a month away from the 35th running of the St. John's Triathlon. The longest portion of that triathlon is the bike stretch. And to help athletes get ride ready, the group is hosting a Monday night session. And that's where Jeremy is right now. Jeremy. Yeah, 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 Carolyn, uh, as you can see, if Mike could just have a little look here, there's, geez, there must be about 50 cyclists here today looking to take part in the uh, weekly Monday bike ride, and I have two special guests with me, Eileen O'Brien and Paul Da. Fun fact about Paul Da, he coached me in swimming in the early 1990s. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Ah, uh, you're welcome. Paul, <laughs> Paul, why do you take part in this ride? Uh, this is uh, it's a great ride for everybody from beginners to experienced cyclists to get out and uh, be social, but learn how to ride on the roads, uh, get used to being around traffic, being safe, get to know the race course before the race comes up uh, in the middle of August. Now, as I mentioned, I've known Paul for many, many years, and when you moved here from Happy Valley Goose Bay, you told me you didn't have a car, so you rode your bike everywhere, so you've been on the road for a number of decades. What's it like riding around in the city? Uh, uh, at times wonderful, uh, often challenging. You've got um, the weather to deal with, you've got potholes, and then you've got uh, the, the, the ongoing challenge of dealing with uh, motorists and traffic in the city, and most of the time that's really good, but occasionally it's, it's quite difficult and it can be quite challenging. Is it, uh, can I put you on the spot and ask you about the one meter rule a little bit? Yeah, well we've got the new one meter rule that designates that uh, vehicles when you're passing a cyclist should maintain a distance of a minimum of one meter or a little over three feet. And that's for safety and it's to make sure that the cyclist has got room if they need to make a sudden stop or a move and the motorist is not that close if there's a risk of hitting them. And really it's, it's time I think for, for all motorists to understand and cyclists that if you're safe, if you're careful and cautious and you follow that rule, it's really going to minimize the chance of any incidents that are going to happen in the city with cyclists. Paul, I appreciate your time. We're just going to pull over to uh, Eileen. And Eileen, uh, when did you pick up, uh, when did you first start cycling? Um, I probably started cycling um, about seven years ago. I was uh, down in Houston and there was um, a charity event going on and it was called the uh, um, MS150. So I learned how to ride long rides uh, for that because it was 150 mile uh, over two days. And how long have you, uh, when did you get involved here with the, uh, the St. John's Triathlon? Um, I probably got involved with the triathlon when one of my good friends uh, took up triathloning and I saw her go through the swim and then the bike and the run and I was totally awestruck. I thought, wow, I'd love to be able to do that. And you did do that. Can you talk at night? And my mother will murder me, my mother, sorry, will murder me for uh, talking about a woman's age, but can you tell us when you first did your, how old you were when you did your first triathlon? Um, I'm, I'm not shy about that. Okay. I was about 47, 48 years old. Um, I only started learning how to swim about four years ago with uh, Chris and Rob Martin and Splash and Dash. And they have a series that helps you get ready for the triathlon, so that was really helpful. Now, I don't know, Mike, if we can get a shot of your fancy little jersey, but can you quickly tell me a little bit about your outfit and what it's all about? Yeah, this is the uh, the jersey and the short set that was bought for the uh, Trapassi Posse. That's a large bike ride that goes on once a year uh, here in St. John's, and it follows the Irish Loop. So this year they decided for safety reasons to go in reverse order. So we went up the Salmon Ear line and then straight out to Trapassi stayed overnight and then uh, go from Trapassi then back through the ghouls to St. John's through a few little hills. <laughs> well now these thank you very much Eileen thank you very much Paul. Now all they, these people are all very eager to get out on their bike so we're going to let them go and uh, we're going to check in and coming up uh, later on the show we're going to talk to Jason Pretty about the upcoming St. John's Triathlon which is later in August. Reporting live for here now I'm Jeremy Eaton in Portugal Cove, St. Phillips. Welcome back, everyone. Well, it's the biggest triathlon in the province, and the start day is less than three weeks away. This year's race is turning 35, and it's also a qualifying race for the World Triathlon Championships. Here now is Jeremy Eaton is in far from the start line. Uh, so, Jeremy, are you race ready yet? I certainly am not race ready. <laughs> uh, full disclosure: I've done this. I've done this uh, event uh, the last three years. But uh, I had a big life-changing event happen in January with a baby being born, so I put training on the back burner. But my guest here has certainly not put training on the back burner. This is Jason Pretty. He's the chair of the St. John's Triathlon. 
bored. Am mm -hmm. I yeah? That's right. And he's also an amazing, look how fit he is. He's also an amazing triathlete. Anyways, Jason, tell us a little bit about this year's triathlon event. It's a big one. Yeah, it's a big one. So this year, the St. John's Triathlon, it's, it's our 35th anniversary. So uh, the sport of triathlon is only 45 years old. So it's, uh, our event is one of the oldest in North America. So it's, uh, it's a big year for us. And uh, yeah, so we've had it now 30, uh, this will be the 35th year. It's also a qualifier for the World uh, Triathlon Championships for 2020. So they're being held in Edmonton, Alberta in August of 2020. And our race is one of uh, around 10 or 12 qualifying races in all of Canada to, to qualify for that. So it's, we're pretty excited. How big of a deal is that for the St. John's race to act as a qualifier? It's, it's pretty big because it's, uh, not every race can, w will get chosen for that. So it's, uh, you know, they, cho they chose races that, are, that have a good pedigree, uh, we offer a beautiful scenic course here. Um, it's a well-established race that's been on the go for a long time, and uh, they, you know, that's what they look for in a qualifying race. So, it, we're we're happy to to host it this year, and and we can't wait. Now, the grassroots, uh, the, the sport triathlon is growing. Obviously, there's a there's a big future coming up. I know the Canada Games athletes, uh, that program is pretty strong. But talk about the kids of steel, because uh, if you if you're going to be around. Bowering Park on uh, Regatta Day, you're going to see the Kids of Steel. Can you just explain how big and how popular that event has yeah. become? So, the, yeah, so, the, so we also organize the Kids of Steel Triathlon. So that takes place on every year on Regatta Day. So if Regatta Day is postponed, the Kids of Steel is also postponed. And uh, yeah, so uh, this year we have 550 uh, kids registered already. So it sells out every single year. Um, when registration usually opens the first day of, we get... Uh, uh, over half the spots sell out immediately, so it's a huge event. The kids love it, the parents love it. We get, uh, you know, a Bowing Park on Regatta Day is full of thousands of people cheering on kids, and it's it's not a timed event, it's not a race. They're just doing it to to, to participate, and uh, everybody loves it. It's it's an amazing event. Now I know, as you notice, there are no cyclists here behind us because they've all gone for the ride. We've held up Jason, so we're going to let him uh, get back on the road. Thanks for your time, and I appreciate it. Sure. And uh, we're going to throw it back to Carolyn in the studio. Thanks, Jeremy. <laughs> well, the St. John's woman is fighting.